If you worked with Vue, it's pretty likely that you've seen style scoped inside your single file components. And when we add the scoped attribute to our style tag, the CSS will only apply to elements inside this component. So while it's a pretty simple concept, in this video, we're going to take a look at a few more advanced uses of style scope. So first, let's understand how style scope works. If we don't add scope to our style tag, by default, all of our styles will be global, meaning that any element that matches our CSS selector will have these styles applied. For example, if we have multiple buttons on different apps and we don't want complex CSS naming, we can just use scope styles to have different button styles for each component. Let's say in our template, we have a div with a class of green. If we create our style scope tag and inside we say dot green and set the background to learn views green color and the text color to white. This is reflected inside of our component. Let's say we created a child component that also tried to use this green class and the styles don't apply. If we inspect element, we can see what's happening. So when our view app compiles, the elements inside of our template are given this custom data slash V attribute. And if we look at our styles, when we use scope, it adds this attribute onto the selector. So it only targets elements with this specific custom attribute. Any of the elements inside parent can access our green class, and this includes the child component in our template. So if we go to app.view and add the green class to our child component, it gets added onto our child component's root node. But let's say that we did want to target our child component, and we can do this with the deep selector. We can just add a second selector and say colon deep, and all of this component's children will have access to this class. Let's take a look at styling a slot. So let's create a slot inside of our child component and then pass in some content from our parent. If we go back to our child component and try to style this blue class, we'll see that it doesn't change. It's because by default, scope styles do not affect contents inside of slot. So if we want to target the slot content, we can use the colon slotted pseudo class and just say colon slotted and then our selector, so dot blue. And then let's change the text color to blue. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if we don't use scope styles, we'll be creating global styles. But let's say your component wants both local and global styles. Simple, you can just create two different style tags, one with scoped and one without. Or if you only have one or two styles that you want to apply globally, you can use the global pseudo class inside of your scoped styles, like this. And now any element in our view app will be styled by the CSS rule. And there you have a few great ways that you can improve your scope styles. I hope this video helped, and if it did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more view content, and as always, happy coding.